There's a lot of discussion about uh, MOA versus mills. What's better, what's the difference? It's really a matter of personal preference. Uh, until just a few years ago, almost all hunters and uh, bench rest shooters at class were in MOA. The tactical, military type guys were running mills. It's, uh, it really is a matter of personal preference. A mill and MOA are both angular units of measurement, but I'm not gonna get too te technical about it. Uh, a mill is a yard at a thousand yards, 36 inches at a thousand yards. It's 3.6 inches at 100 yards. Okay, an MOA is roughly one inch per 100 yards. So an MOA target at a thousand yards would be 10 inches. So to make them even uh, more simpler explanation, most mill scopes have tenth mill clicks, which would be 0.36 of an inch, roughly a third of an inch. Most MOA scopes have quarter MOA, quarter MOA clicks, which will move your impact about a quarter of an inch per click at 100 yards. So a mill scope is going to take three clicks to move an inch at 100 yards. An MOA scope is going to take four clicks to move an inch at 100 yards. It's a matter of personal preference. I will say this, if you have an MOA turret, you want an MOA radical so that your dial-ups and wind holes and holdovers are all in the same format. If you have a mill scope, you want mill turret and the mill radical, again, so that your dial-ups, wind holes, and holdovers are all in the same format. I also would recommend, unless a guy has a lot of experience using both, pick one system and stick to it. It's a lot simpler, saves a lot of confusion, but it really is a matter of personal preference. All right, shooter up. Send it. I'm gonna hold a half mil left wind.